Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel we post writing tips, unboxings, book hauls, book reviews and the occasional vlog. And today I have a much anticipated book review for you today. It's one I have been dying to do and a book I have been desperate to read. And it is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. I probably butchered that name. This book has a cat on the cover, which you know means I gotta read it, I gotta buy it, it's got a cat on it. Before we get into this review, let me read you guys the blurb. Are you listening? Kazu continued. When you return to the past, you must drink the entire cup before the coffee goes cold. Uh, I don't actually like coffee that much. Kazu opened her eyes wider and brought her face an inch or so from the tip of Miko's nose. This is the one rule you have to absolutely obey, she said in a low voice. Ugh. So we know it's definitely going back in time from that and it's exciting and it involves a coffee shop. I'm gonna try to do this as a spoiler free review. So if there is a spoiler, I'll try to say spoiler alert first. I'm gonna aim to be spoiler free. Before we get into that review, don't forget if you like what you see to subscribe to this channel. You'll continue to support me a lot. So thank you guys so much. All right, let's address the elephant in the room. For anyone who has read this book, this is not a spoiler. It just should be known. There is no cat in this book. This front cover lied to me. Was I disappointed? Yes, yes I was. There is no cat. No cat, ignore the cat. This does not exist. Point two, the written style or the descriptions do not match up or compare to the guest cat by Takashi Hirade. If you haven't seen my book review on that, that link is above me now. That was written by a poet and you could tell. This book, Toshikazu, is a playwright and you can tell because the entire book pretty much takes place in the one coffee shop. This is great for a playwright because when you are writing a play you don't want that many scene changes that's difficult and expensive to do. It also interrupts the story so it takes place in one place. There is also less description because in a play why would you want to describe the scenery? This is a playwright book. It is all character driven and shown through dialogue, which is what you would expect. They are not comparable. So I just wanted to get that out of the way first. If you're looking for another Japanese translated book that's like The Guest Cat, if you like my review of that, this isn't like that. However, it is just as good in different ways. With those finished, let's discuss the structure of this book. This book is split into four sections. You have The Lovers, which is story one. You have Husband and Wife, story two, The Sisters, story three, and Mother and Child, story four. These are already laid out for you in an index so you can see the pages. When I first started reading this, that worried me. I thought this was going to be a book of short stories just of different people going back in time at this coffee shop. I was wrong. It surpassed that. It is not four short stories. It is four points of view of four different people going back in time, yet their stories interlace and intertwine with one another. Therefore, it is one whole story just split into four sections, which I really enjoyed. The structure was really refreshing. I was concerned to begin with. I was totally wrong. They do all link and it does read as one coherent story. Every single story always leaves one question at least unanswered. So I already know there's another book. There's three books so far in the series, but it does leave a question at the end and makes you want to read more. So I'm excited to read the next one. I really am because they could be standalone stories, but they work so well together as well. And I love how there's a question from the previous story that links you to the next story. So you can kind of try to guess who the next character is or what the next story is going to be made from. So you're always trying to work out who they're going to be, where they were, what was important about them, how are they related, how do they match to one another. It's just really good. I enjoyed that. Now, like all Japanese translated books I've read so far, there is a lot of telling rather than showing. Now, this is through dialogue in this one, through the guest cat, it is through description. However, I don't mark Japanese literature books down on this because I think it's a stylistic choice and a difference between the cultures of writing. And I actually find, like when I watch anime, how it has loads of scenic shots and just beautiful, slow, 
peaceful drawings. I find the writing style mimics this sense of calm that anime has for me. So I actually like how it is telling because it's oddly soothing in just a don't need to think about anything. It just tells you the information and you just read it and it's all peaceful and calm and slow. And I don't mind that, honestly, I go to it. Now this is gonna be a very short book review because I don't wanna give you guys quotes from it because it is such a short read and because it's written by a playwright, everything written is important. So I can't give you any quotes without telling you the story. But we do have a dilemma, the cat. This book cover lied to me. Now, do I mark it down for that or do I let it off? I haven't actually written what I'm gonna give it down in my notebook because apparently I still haven't decided. <clears throat> I don't know what. So basically, if it didn't lie to me, this is a 10 out of 10. Because it's lied to me, I want to give it nine out of 10. Would I have picked it up without the cat on the front cover? I have to give it 10 out of 10 because it is true. I may not have picked this book up without the cat on the cover and I'm so glad that I picked it up and I would have regretted it if I hadn't. I'll forgive it. It is a selling point at the moment for Japanese translated books, especially of this length, to put a cat on the cover. It be working for us. It makes us read it. People like me, the gullibles are out there who want to read about cats. I'll talk one right now. I will excuse it. It's just using my weakness against me. So I would give this book a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend reading it. Honestly, I read it so quickly. It's so short but it all intertwines. It's not four short stories, it's one cohesive story where four stories interlace with one another and I loved it and I'm very excited to read the next one. And that's it for this book review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you like seasons I upload, click that little bell down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook or Tumblr. I post on bookish pictures as well as my writing tips and unboxings on there. And thanks for watching guys. Bye.